Hi, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on your location. Uh, and I hope that you're enjoying your weekend. So today I want to do a review of a book that I did not finish reading, uh, but I will tell you why I'm re reviewing the book without finishing it. So I'm doing this review for the authors, potential author, prospective authors. Uh, and the reason I did not finish this book is that I don't like to read a confused book, you know. Uh, if I want to read fantasy, I will pick up a fantasy book like Harry Potter or, or any science fiction book. Uh, and I'll read it because I know I'm reading a fantasy and I'm in that mood. But if I'm reading a novel of survival, uh, then I want to not confuse it with a fantasy kind of situation. And in this book, uh, Red Birds, uh, author Mohammed Anif uh, is, has used even a dog talking to us. And I think that's too much for me uh, to handle because that confused the genre of the book. The other reason I didn't finish, didn't want to finish the book is that you know, we are all short of time. And I I felt that this book, Red Birds, is kind of a same kind of dialogues and words and expressions that Mohammed Anif used in his first book, uh, The Case of Exploding Mangoes. And that was an interesting read. So I thought I'm rereading a book that I've already read. So my advice to authors, potential prospective authors, is that you should... If you want to write fantasy, then stick to it and, and create a new world for us. A new environment like you saw in the movie, in the movies of uh, uh, that famous movie where the animals and humans were communicating through a cave, uh, connection. Uh, Avatar, you know, the movie Avatar, and it was very successful. And there, But that was a pure fantasy. So... Uh, if you're writing a novel about survival, then use the in, uh, elements in the environment, in, in the natural environment, a wood stick or any stone, edge stone that you find or any berries, wild berries that you fi find in a, in a jungle to survive. Stick to that, uh, that kind of uh, motives and elements. So that's the reason I did not finish reading this book. In my view, I would give it two stars. 